Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use ChatGPT to help you write your ebook in under 24 hours. If you're anything like me and you know exactly what you want to say but you don't know exactly how to put it into words or you just don't have enough time, this tutorial is for you. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that any links to resources I've put in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more content for you guys. Right, so the first things that you are going to need is you're going to need a Google Doc or something where you can write everything online. Now, these are the things that you are going to need to write with your ebook. You're going to obviously need to have a title, an introduction, a disclaimer, and the chapters. So I usually write this out on a document just so that I know. Um, what the sort of the structure is and so that I'm not just starting with a completely blank page. Sometimes when I think when you start with a blank page, it's actually scarier than, you know, when you actually just got some words on there. The next thing you're going to do is go to ChatGPT. So you just go to chat.openai.com and you can log in. Once you have logged in, this is the screen that you're going to come to. You can see I've been using ChatGPT a lot. Now, one of the things that people don't actually tell you about using ChatGPT is that you need to treat ChatGPT like a virtual assistant that doesn't know who you are, that literally doesn't know anything about your business, doesn't know anything about what you're trying to do. So you need to tell them everything and you need to have a conversation with chat gpt i think a lot of people just put in what you call something called a prompt which is like instructing chat gpt and then what gets regurgitated out they just take that now i think the idea with chat gpt is to like refine your ideas and get the words and things like that but you as the human have to vet what is coming out and how you want to write it so what you can do is i've got a prompt that i've got and it uh, is written so that it is going to get all of the information out that I want to help me to write an ebook. So I've perfected my prompt because I've asked ChatGPT a lot of questions and gone through back and forth and things like that. And it's going to ask, so I put in my prompt and it said, you know, of course, let's start by exploring some potential topics for your ebook. What are some subjects or topics you're passionate about or knowledge? Da, 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 da. So it's basically asking me, what is it that this ebook is that I want to write about? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to write, I want to write about... Uh, my ebook is going to teach people how to type on the computer, how to learn how to type on the computer really fast, whatever the topic of your ebook is. So you can see by the really good prompt that I've entered in, it's like actually talking to me. So great choice. Teaching typing skills can be an incredibly valuable in today's digital age. Now let's discuss the format of the ebook. Would you prefer your ebook to be a step-by-step -step guide providing detailed instructions and exercises, or would you like to include interactive elements such as quizzes or practical exercises to enhance the learning experience? For example, do you envision it as a comprehensive guide with chapters covering different aspects of typing or a more of a workbook with practical exercises? So I'm gonna say I would just like it to be, uh, I would just like it to be simple. step by step and no longer than let's say six chapters you can also write in here as well the ton the tonality of your ebook so you can write something like i'd like the tone to be friendly and very easy to understand so these are the types of instructions that you need to be putting into ChatGPT to be able to get really good results. So you can see here that it is like amazing. Here is the basic outline for the ebook. Okay, so it's even given me a title, Type Like a Pro, a step-by-step -step guide to typing faster. I mean, that's cool, but maybe I might want to say something like, oh no, actually I don't mind that. Type Like a Pro, a step-by-step -step guide to faster typing. I'd like to say that I'd all want to put it for beginners because I want to specify exactly who this ebook is for. So you can see that it's come up with the introduction to typing 
you know, why typing and blah, blah, blah. You know, all the chapters are there. So what you do is take the title and you grab your doc and you put it into here, right? Let's just go paste. And we'll go paste without formatting. So I've already got the title. Now things like the title, the introduction, the disclaimer, these are kind of the things that you can sort of play around with and work on, but let's just copy this information into our Google Doc with stuff that we actually like. Okay, so chapter, introduction to typing. I mean, that completely makes sense. So you just come along here and you would type in your chapters, introduction to typing, and it's it's given like bullet points as to what it's what you could write about inside the chapter. Now, when you're writing your ebook, you're obviously going to know, or I would hope that you would know, specific information related to the ebook because you've got experience in that product or that topic, right? So, like for example, I would I would probably only write. Actually, you can probably copy this whole thing and make it easier. I think you can actually highlight this and just copy it and then just delete stuff. Oh, it's right there. The copy button's right down the bottom. So you can copy this entire thing like this and then just delete it. So I'm just going to go like that and then you can just delete like that and just, you know, just get it in there. However you want to get it in there, you can copy it line by line like I was, but you can also just copy the entire thing and just make it a little bit better like this. So I tend to format things like this uh, because I like to have it in here. Um, but yeah, I would hope that you would know the topic that you're writing about a little bit and you're not just copying straight out of ChatGPT because you are the special source in your ebooks, right? Like you know what you want to say, but sometimes it's hard to coming up the words or the chapters or formatting it and this is how it's going to help you. Okay, cool. So we've got these chapters. Now, if you think that there's anything else specific that you would like to write in your chapters, like say for example... This is probably going to show how old I am, but when I learned how to do touch typing, I learned how to use uh, Mavis Beacon, which was when I was about 15 years old at school. It was the coolest program. It basically, you would play games and that's how you would learn how to touch type. So I would probably want to put a chapter in here about, you know, alternative ways to learn, um, you know, how to touch type. So then I would put in, you know, try games, you know, like Mavis Beacon. And then I'd probably do some research and find some probably more modern and up-to-date games because Mavis Beacon is probably long gone now. I don't actually know. And then I would write a chapter on that because that is exactly how I learned how to touch type. So you can not only, you know, grab the information from ChatGPT, but put your own information in there as well. So I would say, okay, cool. I like these chapters. I'd like to add one more. It's about uh, learning how to touch type with games. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if Mavis Beacon, if ChatGPT knows Mavis Beacon, like Mavis Beacon. Can you help? Now, oh, can you add that? Okay, so let's see. So you can see that it's added in an extra chapter, which is learning touch typing through games, which is cool. Uh, obviously, Mavis Beacon, well, I hope it's still around. We'll have to do a little bit more research on that. But you can see how it is helping to actually get things together. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. Uh, this is why it's really handy to have uh, ChatGPT and like a Google Doc open because if you're talking to ChatGPT and you're like really refining what you want in your ebook, it's not gonna, it's gonna come out really, really good because um, you're using your own special source, which is you and your brain. ChatGPT just helps you refine it. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that I have this as a heading too because it's a chapter. So another reason I put stuff in Google Docs is because you can like use this because when you start writing stuff, you can kind of get stuff that's really long. Anyway, from here, so now we've got all of these chapters, you can say, now do not write in here, write me all of the ebook because of what will come out is crap because ChatGPT just can't do that. So what you need to do is you need to specify like the first chapter and how long you want it to be and the tone. So uh, you can say, can you help me write the first chapter? in a simple 
an easy to understand way. Uh, and I would probably say something like uh, it only needs to be, you know, like two pages long. Something like that. So you can see rather than, you know, I started with that first prompt, which was really awesome, but you do need to start talking to ChatGPT like it is your virtual assistant, like, you know, that it's actually going to be able to understand stuff. So you can see that it's come up with the first chapter, which is really cool. So introduction to typing. So what I would do is I would probably copy all of this. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to my first chapter, which is introduction to typing. I'm going to go edit and paste without the formatting. And I'll just format it so I can actually read it because, you know, when you copy stuff over through ChatGPT, you know, stuff copies over and it's weird. So I can see here that these are going to be like subheadings and things like that. So I'm just going to go through really quickly and format this so we can proofread it. So I've gone ahead and I have formatted it. So you can see chapter one, introduction to typing, looking beautiful. What I would recommend here is that you read everything that has been written. Make sure that you know what it says and make sure that it's actually correct and make sure that it sounds like you. Sometimes ChatGPT will come up with stuff that just doesn't even make sense. You know, like, what? And that's the thing that people forget to do. So, like, for example, you know, that's it for chapter one. In the next chapter, we'll, we'll dive deeper into building your typing skills. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep trying and have fun. I would never say stuff like that. It just does not sound like me. So I would probably just delete it because I'm more the kind of person that when I am teaching and talking, it's like direct. I give you the information, here's what it is, all that kind of stuff. So that's where you kind of need to do a little bit of editing. And this is the stuff that probably takes the longest when you're creating your ebook is the editing and making sure that everything is right. But what you do is you go through and you use ChatGPT and you just repeat it for each of the chapters, right? Each of the chapters, just keep going back and forth with it until you get stuff that is coming out and is making sense and you really, really like it. Then all you need to do after you've done all of the chapters, I won't go through and do it, is if you want something like an introduction and a disclaimer, then you can go to ChatGPT and ask it to write that disclaimer. You don't have to have disclaimers in your ebooks or anything like that. I just think they're good to have because it protects you and it also protects the person that's reading the ebook. You know, like this is so extreme, but let's say that you are teaching somebody how to skydive in your ebook and then someone reads it, they go skydive and then they like forget to open their parachute because they didn't read the next page and they blame it on your ebook or something like that. That's extreme, but I just would put it in there if you if you feel like you need to. So it's come up with a dis, uh, generic disclaimer. Again, you can just copy that and you can come back to your document and you can paste without the formatting. Again, just format it however you like it. And you can do the exact same thing for the introduction. So the introduction will be about you, what the book is about. So you just tell ChatGPT that. Be like, cool, that I'm happy with that. Be like, now I want to write a short introduction. And then tell ChatGPT exactly what you want the introduction to be about and about you write it short and make sure you write, you know, I only want it like one page long, something like that. And then it will come up into ChatGPT. Again, copy and paste it, refine it into and put it into your Google Doc. And then literally, I'm pretty sure in about 20 minutes or however long this video is, you have written an entire ebook with ChatGPT, which is pretty cool. Now all you have to do is go and design it, grab a template, you know, get a cool sales page together to start selling it. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.